city of London is actually kind of going in the opposite direction. Uh -huh. And right now, air quality seems to actually be worsening. Um, I'm not too sure. I think maybe partly down to like our use of cars, uh, um, things of that sort. But it has been getting slightly worse. Yes. During the Industrial Revolution, oh, oh, yeah. you know, a lot of uh, coal plants and factories and, you know, you had heavy smog. I think the word smog was yes. invented because of London. Like my country in Bosnia and Herzegovina, really the air quality is really, really good comparing to other cities in the world. Because you cannot even buy masks for the air <laughs> in my country because nobody will use them, so that's why I'm quite happy about it to have a good air in my country. I may be missing it, but here in Beijing is much better the every year. If you talk about my country, previous years the pollution was as same as Beijing. Uh, it was like four, three or four years. We have done a lot of work that, uh, that uh, changes the weather and weather conditions. So you can say that the diseases we had four years back is not now. We have uh, reduced the amount of diseases just like a bronchitis oh, or yeah. fevers. Oh, great. Yeah, you can say 1.3 billion uh, less diseases than four years ago. Very similar to, to London, like nowadays, like yeah. it's getting worse and worse every year. It's not noticeable and you cannot see anything like polluted air uh, in, in most, most parts of Spain. I've been in Beijing for nearly about a year and a half now and uh, looking at the air quality, uh, I definitely say it's not the cleanest, not yeah. like um, what I'm used to, but it's not as bad as I thought it would be. For me, well, I'm five months here, but yeah. I see the air quality really good improving. So we're leaving Beijing only because the air quality would not be a reason for me. Because like the air quality, I see how it's government working on air quality to improve it. For me, I think I've, 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 seriously, I've seriously thought about staying in China, but I thought of, about leaving Beijing as well because of air pollution, because you don't actually know the impact it's going to have yeah. on your health in the long run. I was so worried about the atmosphere one year ago, but thank God after one year that things are completely different. That the air is getting better. In the UK, come the late 70s, early 80s, you had a phase of uh, deindustrialization mm. where you know a lot of those coal plants and steel factories uh, started to sh close down. So therefore, the pollution associated with that kind of dwindled away. Um, I guess being from China, you, yes, yes. You, you're hoping for a similar situation going Beijing in that direction. Beijing is doing the same. The city is closing down a lot of whole coal-fired power plants. Nowadays, like yeah. it's getting worse and worse every year, and they're going to try and they're trying to take actions now. We've got the European oh. Union having some new regulations as well on, on pollution, air quality. Yeah. So I think it's, it's going in the same direction as London now. So it's kind of getting worse and people are trying to think about what to do. As for measures, I, I was thinking about Spain and I think they are like quite alike, like Beijing or London. Like I think in the city mayors are trying to put restrictions on traffic yes. as a short run like solution for these pollution thing. So how did we fought uh, with the air pollution? I can tell you about three things. We worked together to beat this up. And uh, we limit the use of uh, energy efficient products. And uh, we worked with the non-governmental organizations to uh, uh, cooperate with the government. And uh, we worked together to eliminate the air pollution from, the, uh, from our country. The, all the communities and all the people, we worked together. Yes, maybe Beijing should learn from your country, like yeah, both the government and the people and together. Yeah, yes, it's like this massive public awareness campaign yes, yeah. by the government to make people yeah. aware of this problem. Yeah. yeah, to let them know that the air is dangerous. Do not take the issue lightly. I think that kind of switch over from coal to natural mm. gas. I think in the long term that will like oh, could make really a big difference. For that yeah. so they have taken the good step, I appreciate that. And also I've heard they limit the use of cars. They have transferred the people to the public transport. Mm. So okay. Yeah. Interesting. Really? They also limit the use of cars every day. Each day of uh, each day of the weekday one million cars are taken off the roads yeah. because of the, the number place. Certain numbers you cannot go on there. In roads. Beijing, China is build, building more and more nuclear power plant stations. The cars is also a big factor. Over the past oh, yeah. five years, like two million 
mm. high emission cars yeah. have been eliminated, eliminated by the government. Okay. The government is also encouraging the use of electric cars. I know in some Chinese cities, like in Shenzhen, many of their taxis are actually electric. And I think that as China begins to move up the value chain and focus more on e-commerce, yeah. uh, retail, uh, technology, you're going to have uh, you know, less of a need for these uh, steel factories, all of these other types of plants yes. that are associated with heavy industry. And I think it will just naturally kind of uh, devolve from that. Okay. The city okay. government may also impose a fee on vehicle mm. use in yeah. central uh, cities. Yeah. If it's like a, a SUV, a big vehicle, yeah. you have yeah. to pay more. Third in the economy, the, we've got all the bikes now, all the, uh, we've got the... More bike. Yeah, mobile. Yeah, so yeah. Once, uh, we've got yeah. like Good. the yellow one. Great. I love mobile so much. Yeah, I'm, I'm all green for Yeah. So, so I think this is contributing. This could be some something positive as well for. Yeah. I'd like to believe so. Um, it seems to be going in that direction. The government's taken a very proactive approach to tackling air pollution. I'm confident it's going to keep improving. We've talked about a lot of policies the government is taking. I'm course. very confident that the air quality in Beijing, in my hometown, will get better yeah. because there is definitely this government in initiative to yes. make the air cleaner. And also the central government, there is this shift from GDP, from economy yeah. to yeah. Yeah. Quality environment. Burn. If the government puts its mind to solving this problem, I think there's a yeah, great chance that it will be solved. Mm -hmm.